Fundamentals, Unit 4, Global Connections, Week of May 27th, 2020. This is Episode 7. Let's begin by looking at our outcome for the day. Today, we're going to orally explain how plants and animals depend on each other as living things. We're going to use visuals, sentence frames, and a word box to help us. We're going to learn a fancy new word today. It is called interdependency. That's a big word. Interdependency. Can you repeat after me and say interdependency? Great job. We're going to practice saying that word again a little bit later. First, I want us to think about what we know about plants. Take a look at this picture. This is a picture of a rainforest. Rainforests are filled with millions of different kinds of plants. What do you think of when you see this picture? Tell somebody in your house what you think of when you see this picture. Did you say things like the plants are leafy or they are very green? That is what I thought of when I saw this picture. What about this picture? What do you think of when you see this picture? Tell somebody in your house. Did you say that it is raining? That's the first thing I thought of when I saw this picture. I know that plants need water in order to survive. What about this picture? Tell somebody in your house what you think of when you see this picture. When I look at this picture, I notice that the plants are just starting to grow from the ground. I also noticed that the, it is very sunny in this picture. I wonder why. Here's another picture where the sun is shining very bright. Did you know that plants also need sun in order to survive? What about this picture? This picture is interesting because I see two bees on a flower. Do you know that bees are very special animals? Talk to your family about it. Bees pollinate the flowers. They are very important to flowers. Now let's think about what we know about animals. Take a look at this picture. What do you see happening in this picture? Tell somebody in your family about this picture. Did you talk about how the cow is eating the grass in this picture? Hmm, I really think that the grass is important to the cow in order to survive. What about this picture? What do you see in this picture? Do you notice that there is a nest in a tree and there are two eggs in the nest? What about this next picture? In this picture, you see a house cat. This cat is inside of a house because it is a pet. Even pets depend on other people to survive. What about this next picture? In this picture, there are many different sea creatures and plants. 
They all live underneath the water and depend on one another to survive. So now let's think more about that. Do plants and animals need each other? Take a look at this picture. This is a frog on a lily pad. Does the frog need the lily pad? Let's think about that. If the frog didn't have the lily pad, where would it sit? Frogs sit on lily pads and catch flies. Flies are their main source of food. If it didn't have a lily pad to sit on, where would it catch its dinner? Let's take a look at this sentence. The frog needs the lily pad to sit on in the water. So the frog is depending on the lily pad to survive. Let's take a look at another picture. In this picture, I see a nest in a tree again. There is also a mama bird looking over her three eggs. Is the bird depending on the tree? Does the bird need the tree? Well, if the bird didn't have the tree to build its nest, where would it build its nest? The bird can't build the nest on the ground because animals might find the nest and eat its eggs. So the bird needs the tree to build its nest and keep its eggs safe. Let's look at another picture. Here's the picture with the cow eating the grass again. We talked a little bit about this in our first set of pictures. Does the cow need the grass? What would the cow eat without the grass? The cow needs the grass to eat. Without the grass, the cow may not survive. Look at this picture. This is a squirrel in a tree. Now it's your turn. Think about this. The blank needs the blank for a blank. We already know that this is a picture of a squirrel. And where did the squirrel build its home? In the tree. So, the squirrel needs the tree for a, can you finish that sentence? Shout it out at your TV screen. Home, great job. Let's read this sentence together. The squirrel needs the tree for a home. Here's another picture. This is a horse eating grass just like the cow. Can you finish this sentence? The blank needs the blank to blank. Let's see if you can finish this sentence on your own. Did you say the horse needs the grass to eat? Great job. Just like the cow, without the grass, the horse would not survive. Here's our friend again, the panda. Do you remember what pandas like to eat? That's right, bamboo. Let's see if you can finish this sentence about the panda. The blank needs the blank to blank. Did you say the panda needs the bamboo to eat? Great job. If you remember, panda bears like to eat bamboo. That is what they eat to survive. Here's that big word again that we saw in the beginning. 
interdependency. Can you say that with me again? Interdependency. Great job. Interdependency is when animals and plants depend on each other to live. That means that they are interdependent. If you take the plants or animals away, then the other one could die. If you look at this diagram to the left, you'll see that each of these things depend on one another to live. The grass depends on the sun. Without the sun, the grass would not get the nutrients that it needs to survive. The grasshopper eats the plants. And so, if the grass doesn't have the sun, then the grasshopper will die because the grass will not grow. The mice eat the grasshopper. So, if the sun does not shine, the grass does not grow, the grasshopper has nothing to eat, and then the mice have nothing to eat. This is a continuous cycle. Everything depends on everything else. Let's think about the giraffe and the ox pecker. These two animals depend or rely on each other. Ticks and flies like to live on giraffes and can cause the giraffe to get very sick. But the ox pecker is a friend to the giraffe. The oxpecker likes to eat these ticks and flies and other intruders off of the giraffe. So both animals help one another. The giraffe gets cleaned and the oxpecker gets fed. This is an example of interdependence. Let's think about how you go through a day. You probably depend on your mom and dad to help you with things like food, clothing, and shelter. They probably help you to make breakfast. They probably help by making dinner. Without them, you might not eat. And when you go to school, who do you depend on? You depend on your teacher to help you learn. You can think of plants and animals in the same way. Plants and animals help each other to survive. Now, let's think more about the panda bear. We're going to use the panda to discuss interdependency. What does the panda bear depend on? Let's look at this word box. The word box will help us to fill in some sentences. Let's read the words in the word box. The words are forest, bamboo, trees, panda. Great job. Let's look at our first sentence. This says, the panda depends on the blank to eat. Do you remember what the panda depends on? Bamboo. Great job. Let's read that sentence together. The panda depends on the bamboo to eat. Now let's look at another one. We have the same words in the word box. Let's look at the sentence below. The blank depends on the blank to sleep safely. What animals in the tree and what does it depend on? You're right, the panda depends on the tree to sleep safely. Let's read that sentence together. The panda depends on the tree to sleep safely. Let's look at another one. What is this a picture of? Let's look at the sentence to help us. The blank depends on the blank to live. Hmm, which animal have we been talking about and where does it live? Great job. The panda depends on the forest to live. 
You did an awesome job today. Let's make sure we accomplished everything we said we would. Students will orally explain how plants and animals depend on each other as living things. Did we do that? We did. We talked about how different animals eat different plants in order to survive, or they use plants as homes. We did this with visuals, sentence frames, and a word box. You did such a great job today. See you next week.